Hello friends, in this video, we will integrate Tailwind CSS to a Svelkit application with a minimum configuration. First, let's run npm init Svelte at next period to create a Svelkit application inside the root of the current directory. We'll be using skeleton project template without TypeScript, ESLint, and Prettier. Install Tailwind CSS as dev dependency by running npm i slash d Tailwind CSS post CSS and auto prefixer. Run npx Tailwind CSS init dash p to generate Tailwind and post CSS configuration file. As you can see, there's an error because Spellkit is using ESM or ES modules, but PostCSS and Tailwind CSS are using common JS. To fix this, we just need to change the extension from JS to CJS. Now we can get rid of this error message. To enable JIT or just-in-time compiler of Tailwind CSS, we can fill the content with the source directory, include all files and filter them inside the curly brace to only accept HTML, Svelte, JS, and maybe TS. Now create a new CSS file and give it a name, tailwind.css. Add Tailwind base, Tailwind components, and Tailwind utilities. Save it. Next, let's add layout.svelte inside the routes directory. And then import tailwind.css because we're going to use Tailwind as the global style of the application. Don't forget to add slot. Okay, I think the setup is ready. Time to run the application with npm run dev. Open localhost 3000 in the browser. And this is how it looks. Let's give it a try of Tailwind by changing the selection behavior. Open Tailwind.css. Add selection, use the apply directive and set maybe BG purple 500 with a text white. Nice, it's instant. Okay, let's give another styling to the index.svelte. Wrap all the content and then add flex, justify center item center and min age screen to centralize the screen element All right create another wrapper with text center p8 for padding and then h1 with uppercase font bold and let's make the text larger all right i think that's all for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again bye bye